Welcome to Medicine Talk ND Live, where you can discover life without medicine. Join us live 12 to 1 CST every weekday where you can talk to a naturopathic doctor for free and learn more about naturopathic medicine. ND Live is brought to you in partnership with Fullscript, the doctor's choice for delivering the safest source of professional grade supplements to their patients. Welcome everyone, this is Eli Camp with Medicine Talk, and we are in the process of talking to the doctors who participate in ND Live, which is a program where you can call in from 12 to 1 Central Standard Time every weekday and some weekends and actually talk with a naturopathic doctor for free, there's no charge for this, and sort of explore how naturopathic medicine approaches certain conditions or overall health and figure out if this is a good fit for you. And so if you have a chance to call in and talk with one of our doctors at Straight today, I'm really excited to welcome Dr. Judith Boyce. And Dr. Boyce, you have a practice in Fairbanks, Alaska. That's right. Yes, I'm in the frozen north. <laughs> <laughs> in the frozen north. And you know, I always forget, are the days in the winter where you never quite have full daylight? No, actually where I am, it's not quite that far north. So we, the sun comes up now, it's almost winter solstice. The sun comes up around 11 and goes down around 2.30. Wow, so you get a few hours of daylight. Yes, <laughs> it's like twilight. It's beautiful um, orange and pink colors, twilight for a few hours. Wow, I wonder if there's a lot of vitamin D deficiency. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, bet. I bet, right? Because they just yes. don't have exposure to the sun. And think about what Native people here traditionally would have been eating is a lot of um, fish oil. So they would have been getting their vitamin D in other ways. Right, right. Isn't it amazing how the planet just all came together exactly how we needed to be? <laughs> so, um, People out there are very curious about naturopathic doctors in general, but also about each of us and how we came to find naturopathy and become naturopathic doctors. Would you share your story with us? Yes. I actually grew up in Ohio, which is at that time a state that had one naturopathic physician whom I didn't know at the time. A dear friend when I was in college was an incredible researcher. So whatever she did, she researched to the nth degree. And she brought me a catalog when I was in uh, junior in college. And it was the catalog from the, the National College of Naturopathic Medicine. She had gotten a catalog from every single medical school in the United States, including the naturopathic medical school. And I can't tell you why, because I'm the kind of person who often kind of goes back and forth about what they're gonna do. She handed me that catalog and I knew that's where I wanted to go. I let go of that dream though for a period of time and really wanted to study with a traditional medicine person. That was my passion. I lived and traveled with traditional Aboriginal people in Australia. I spent time with Native American people, lived in Scotland and interacted with um, Native people there. I don't think of Scottish people being Native, but they are. Oh, and, um, and after a period of time, I realized I needed to turn to my own culture to my own background, to find the system of medicine from my own culture that embraced that understanding of the, our bodies are organisms and they have an innate ability to heal. That's common to all medicine traditions, all traditional medicines. They have an understanding of the body being able to rejuvenate itself if it's given the right conditions. And there was also really important to me to have an understanding of all aspects of a person being addressed in the medicine. That it's not just about our physical bodies, it's also our mental, emotional environment, the environment we live in, and also what was going on in our inner world and our souls. And naturopathic medicine was the closest I could come to in my culture that embraced those roots and that core understanding and also embraced the importance of our bodies being deeply connected to the earth's body, that we are microcosms of the earth's body. So naturopathic medicine for me was the best fit I could find. And it still had science, it still had research, it still had all of the intellectual rigor that also excites me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, it sounds like it was a perfect fit. 
It was a wonderful fit for me. So tell us a little bit about your practice. Right now I have two different parts of my practice. I work here in Fairbanks as a family doctor. I literally work cradle to grave, although the majority of my patients tend to be from about 35 on, and that's happened over time. I work with uh, women's health, a lot of women's health. I also work with oncology patients. That's another area that I specialize in. And I work with anyone who wants to engage in rebuilding and revitalizing their health. And that is anywhere from people who have very serious chronic illnesses to people who are already well, but they want to reach even greater levels of health and vitality. So it, the core, the common core of all of those patients are people who want to engage in and rebuild their vitality. So that's one part? That's one part. And then the other, um, the other part of my practice is a concierge medical practice. I work with people at a distance. I have a program called Vibrant Energy, Vibrant Life. And it helps people to identify their long-term picture of what it is they want with their health. And then they look at how they can create that level of health. And what I've learned over time is that creating health is fundamentally different from getting rid of symptoms. Getting rid of symptoms means I get rid of something. I'm not left with anything new. I just have taken something away from the picture. It's a completely different focus to look at moving towards creating someone's vitality and their full picture of health. And for me, health means what would you be doing if you had all the time, all the money, all the energy, all the resources that you needed and wanted? What would you be doing? That's what health is. Most of us ideally are engaged in doing healthy things because it's moving us towards the life we want. Right. So that's what I aim to do. In the concierge practice, I'm not able to um, prescribe medications unless I'm in the state where I have that license. But I coach people on making lifestyle choices and using all of the natural medicines to rebuild that vitality in their lives. And I'm sure you can take them off of medications or make recommendations to wean them off should you find like most of us do in the concierge model that people are on way too many medications because their doctors aren't talking to each other. That's right. And I'm also very happy to collaborate with other doctors. And that is something that I do. So one of my main jobs, actually, in working with people both locally and at a distance is to educate them about how to talk to their other physicians so that they can get the services, the medications, the lab testing, the things that they need. So I'm very happy to, to do that collaborative work. Right, and so for your Fairbanks practice, I'm sure you have an on-site medicinary where people can get good quality supplements. What do you do with your concierge practice? With the concierge practice, I work with Fullscript, which is a wonderful organization that allows me to order the highest quality supplements. And then the patients have control with the script through Fullscript. They have control order over ordering when they want and how much they want of those supplements, which is something that's really important to me that you have access then at all times. That's something that's hard at a distance. A lot of the things I work with, you can't find in a health food store. The, um, and this is not saying anything disrespectful about health food stores because there are many really high quality things in the health food store, but there are certain things that I work with that just aren't available there. And, or, and, and I also work with people sometimes who are so remote they don't have access to a health food store. Right, so right. The way people have access in their local area, no matter where they live, they have access through shipping and through the internet to those high quality supplements. Right, right. Well, a big problem I struggle with is the whole Amazon super deal. And I, I try to explain to people that I, I'm not trying to get them to spend any more or any less. So what's most important to me is that what's in the bottle is actually what's supposed to be in the bottle. That's right. Yeah, that's huge. And, and that is sometimes a hard sell for people to understand. How come it says the same thing, same number of milligrams? Right. Um, Right. One, briefly, one example I give is um, I work with a particular medicinal mushroom preparation. And mushrooms, they have really rigid cell walls. And if you just take dry ground up mushroom, you really don't absorb it well. 
And there's a particular supplement that one capsule is roughly equivalent to eating something like eight pounds of mushroom. You know, that, that's a huge difference. And right. if you look at the cost, yes, it costs more, but eight pounds of mushrooms would cost a lot. So right. uh, there's right. a reason why that price is a little bit higher. Right. Well, I think too, when you have to think about additives, people, I think I have found a number of supplements that have additives in them that are, the supplement itself may be doing more harm than good. That's true. That's very true. Well, um, I've asked all of the NDs that I've interviewed if they'd be willing to share maybe their favorite herb or their favorite herb of the month. I know it's hard to say, oh, this is my favorite herb of all time, but you know, depending on the season or, or what we're working with in our practice, um, is there one that is, you particularly resonate with today? Do you know what comes to, there are two that came to mind. Um, one is Crotagus, and I love hawthorn berry Crotagus because it has, it's such a profoundly nourishing restorative herb. And that's something, it's tonifying. And that's something, when I use that word, a lot of people look kind of funny and say, what do you mean by tonify? And that's a word that's largely been lost from our medical language. It has restorative properties for the heart, but also for the whole cardiovascular system, blood vessels, blood vessels everywhere in the body. The other one that sprang to mind is nettles. And I think of that because in Chinese medicine, the winter is associated with kidneys and nettles have a profound restorative effect on the kidneys. I actually saw that with some late stage cancer patients with um, kidney cancer. Their kidney function studies actually started improving working with nettles. It's also a fabulous herb to help with allergic reactions. It stabilizes mast cells. They're the ones that release histamine that make all of those terrible allergy symptoms. So it has, um, both of the herbs I just mentioned have multiple functions, multiple ways. And I have also my own history of going out when I lived in Portland, Oregon and gathering nettles. And I loved going to this particular um, park. It was a butte that had a kind of swampy marshy area, which is where nettles grow. And I'd put on my, my special gloves and I'd go and I'd harvest the nettles. So nettles is one also that I love working with local medicines and it's a herb that grows in a lot of places and you have the potential to harvest your own nettles. I love nettles. I just recently started adding nettles to my cold and flu botanical tinctures. Um, not necessarily for anything bacterial or viral, but it's so good at sort of supporting that respiratory system. Um, I really love it. Well, thank you for sharing that wonderful herbal knowledge with us. Um, now, you have some online programs and some, right, you have a menopause. Tell, tell us a little bit about your online offerings. Yes, I have a, a couple of, or actually three different programs that people can access online. One is the Menopause with Science and Soul program. That's a program that helps women um, identify their picture of what they want this next part of their life journey to be. And it steps them through looking at all the different lifestyle choices that they can make to help support them. And also gives a deep understanding of not only the physical, hormonal, biochemical things that are happening, but also the inner changes that are going on. And it also encourages women to create their own celebration to mark that life passage. Okay. Another program is the Green Medicine Chest. And that program introduces four different types of plant medicine, or actually homeopathy is more than just plant medicine, but it's uh, different ways of working with natural medicines, homeopathy, botanicals, herbs, essential oils, and flower essences. I discovered that a lot of people, some people had information, but they didn't know the products and how to find good high quality products. And other people had the products and didn't know what to do with them. Right. So the green medicine chest was my, aim to help bring that knowledge together, the best products the, and the knowledge. So the Green Medicine Chess program includes an award-winning book, and it also includes a three and a half hour training video that steps you through what is natural medicine, how do you work with that restorative uh, capacity in the body, and then working through those four different types of natural medicine so that you're able to address your own home emergencies, your own home care conditions. Right. That's, that's 
the green medicine chest. And then finally, the high level wellness program is an earlier rendition of um, what I'm calling whole body, whole life program now. The, the, whole, the high level wellness program steps people through creating that long term picture of health and then looking at the changes they can make in their daily lives with diet, exercise, and mental emotional health. The newer the newer rendition of that program, Whole Body, Whole Life, also includes our inner world. And I realized that's something that's always been in the background for me. And I realized, mm, no, it's something that it's really time to bring front and center. So not looking at any particular religious affiliation, but how do we bring peace of mind? How do we bring inner balance into that picture of whole health as well? So the whole body, whole life program is the newer evolution of the high level wellness program. And that's available online too. Okay. And now are these all housed in one website or are there different places for them to uh, go? Well, first, how do they find you to make the schedule with you, make an appointment? Um, the drjudithboyce.com is the best place to find me. I have another site that's in con under construction right now called the Green Medicine Academy. And Green Medicine Academy eventually is where you'll find the, high, the green medicine chest. But for now, you can find them all through drjudithboyce.com. Forgot to mention too that I also offer a service with food testing. And so you can find that information on the site as well, which is a specific area. So the, uh, right now, go to drjudithvoice.com, and eventually you may be redirected to the Green Medicine Academy. Excellent. Very good. Well, Dr. Boyce, I just can't thank you enough for taking the time to come and talk with us today. And all of you who are out there that would like to visit with Dr. Boyce, certainly visit her website. Um, you can also find her on NZ Live. She's there once a month. And the link to the public calendar where all the doctors are listed are at medicinetalk.org. And yes, I hope you have a wonderful afternoon and happy holidays and Thank all you. of that stuff. And stay warm and yes. survive with me. <laughs> Many blessings. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a good one. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Thank you, Dr. Pia. Bye. Bye. Visit medicinetalk.org to join us at ND Live today. And be sure to ask your doctor about Fullscript.